Hi guys and welcome back to my channel celebrating with Amber. Today for you I do have a video of birthday party prep. This birthday party is for our youngest son Eric. He turned nine and requested a dinosaur birthday party. In this video you are going to see me putting together um, a bunch of the things that were needed for the birthday party, including labeling the cups with names, one of my favorite things to do for birthday parties, putting together the goodie bags, making some bags for the candy table, as well as making some wall decor and tabletop decor. Most of the supplies that I have for this video are from Dollar Tree, which is amazing, but there are some things elsewhere that I will make sure to let you know. Um, if there's some other stuff in this video, that's just a happy surprise, but that's where we are at, is getting ready for Eric's dinosaur birthday party. These dinosaur cups actually I found at Walmart. They were only 99 cents each. I'm planning on putting the names just along the bottom. But I wanted to get other cups for the girls, so I found these toucan cups at Dollar Tree in their summer section, and I thought toucans and dinosaurs went well enough together with those palm trees. We also have two babies that come to the party, my little baby nieces, and I didn't want them to be excluded, so I did find them these sippy cups that had dinosaurs on them. And then lastly, we had two older boys, and I didn't think that they wanted those um, kind of younger cups with the dinosaurs on them, so I got them these plain ones from Dollar, no, these were from Walmart for like a dollar each as well. And then that way they still had a water bottle, but they weren't quite so young. I made all the names on my Cricut. All the vinyl is actually permanent Dollar Tree vinyl. It holds up decently well. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it definitely works well for these. I did all different colors um, that matched the cups, and so I thought that they would be really, really fun for this. And let's get started on putting them on. Next, we are going to be working on our goodie bags. I did pick up this package of paper bags from Dollar Tree. I thought that that would be the perfect color. These are, again, vinyl from Dollar Tree, and I found the images in the Cricut design space that I'm going to put on the bags. So we are going to get started doing that.
I am. Um, now that I got the bags all made with the labels, the names, the little cute dinosaur picture, I wanted to share with you all the items that I picked up to put into the goodie bags. So let me show you those. We're gonna, um, I have it all laid out here on the table. So first of all, I did pick up this five pack of mini dinos. I got those at five below. And so it just equals out to be $1 per dinosaur, which is a dollar or a better price than Dollar Tree because they're $1.25 per dinosaur right now. I got two of the first pack right here because it has the Spinosaurus, that's Eric's favorite dinosaur. So I grabbed two of those. And then one of those equaling 15 dinosaurs. I am going to have extra, which means I'm going to use them for decor as well. And then from the Dollar Tree, I did pick up some dino gummies. I just thought that that would be an easy add-in to each of the bags. From Timu, I grabbed these. They are little poppets um, that are dinosaur shaped. They do have the little keychains. So I'm gonna make those and put those in there. Also from Timu, I have this pack of 150 stickers, um, the realistic dino stickers. So I'm gonna put one in each bag. And then I have a set of 12 of like the little dino skeletons. So I figure I'll put those in there as well. So all those items did come from Timu. From Party City, like the only thing I picked up from Party City were these finger puppets. I thought they were really cute and kind of just unique. So I grabbed those. Also from Dollar Tree are these stickers. They're the kind that when you move them, like the, the sticker moves or the design moves. So um, I just thought they were fun. I'm gonna cut them apart and put one per goodie bag. Dollar Tree always has the glow bracelets, glow sticky things, and when you can get a pack of 25, it's just an easy add-in, two of the goodie bags. And I know the girls aren't gonna want the toy dinosaurs. So I picked them up a little hand lotion. I thought these were cute. They were from Big Lots, only a dollar. And so I thought they were really cute because they were a little dino, coconut scented, but they only had two dinos. So I picked up one butterfly and two of the dinos because I have three little girls. And so I'm gonna pop those into the girls' baskets, I mean goodie bags. And then here, let me show you what I got for the babies, one second. Okay, so for the babies, Dollar Tree really hooked it up. They had these cute little dinosaur train plushies. And so I got two, um, I have two babies that I get four. And so they're each gonna get two plus, pu plushies. We have this one that is like a pillow. I wish I would have found more of those, but that's the only one I found. We have the Triceratops, the Pterodactyl, so I, since these are the same character, you know, one of the little babies will get the pillow, one will get the stuffy, and then the little, I don't know what this guy is, but he is super cute. So they're going to each get two little stuffies. Then they had the little baby size dinosaurs. They say that they're for 18 months up, which was perfect. So they'll each get a toy dino as well. I got them each a pair of little dino socks because I thought they were too darn cute. And then I got them each a dino board book. So that's what's going to go in the baby's goodie bags. So I am going to get filling up on the goodie bags. <laughs> Now moving on to the candy bags. I made these 
pretty much just the same as I did the goodie bags. I found dinosaur silhouettes in Cricut Design Space and used the same bag of paper bags that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. A very cost-effective way to put these together. I made the names that said, you know, so-and-so's candy. So Eric's candy, Lorelai's candy, and so on. Because that way, during the party, the kids always love to take candy from the candy table and just set it around everywhere. This keeps it organized in their own bags and they can take them home with them at the end of the party. So this is the way that I always like to do candy tables is by giving them a little bag or container to hold their candy. Next, we're going to make the candy bowls for the candy table. I couldn't find anything that I really, really loved for this theme of birthday party. So what I ended up doing is buying these blue bowls from Dollar Tree in their party section. And then the wood grain look cabinet liner, um, the sticky liners that you can buy from them, and cut it into strips and put it on there to make like the bowls look like they're wood. And that's what I did for the candy table bowls. And lastly, for this video, I'm going to show you some of the wall decor and a couple things I picked up for table decor. The wall decor, I found these decals on Timu for very inexpensive. And what I thought I would do was put them on top of foam board and just attach them to the wall that way. That way they can go on to Eric's wall once the party is all over. They're reusable. They're not stuck to the wall. They're supposed to be reusable anyway, but you never know how the ray stick is on them. So that's why I decided to go the foam board route. Lastly for this video, I'm going to make a couple little tabletop decors. I found these cute 3D puzzles at the Dollar Tree and I just thought that they would be cute to kind of place here and there throughout the party. So I'm just going to put these together and 
put them out and about for the party. All right, guys, that's going to end it for this video. Thank you so much for being here while I was doing my dinosaur party birthday prep. Um, come back next week to see the party getting decorated and put together. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, do all the things that you do for the YouTubers. I am still learning these editing techniques and this type of video, so I promise they will get better over time. But thank you again so much for being here. Let me know down below what your favorite DIY for this party was, and I can't wait to show you the finished party next week. Bye, guys.